Low vitamin D is the cause of high viral load? Findings from the recent studies are providing clinicians with an overview of the role of vitamin D deficiency in viral hepatitis, underscoring its significant immunomodulatory role in hepatitis B virus. But vitamin D deficiency does not happen with hepatitis C patients. In research, the results were published in Nutrition Health magazine. It showed vitamin D affected CD8, CD4, HBBDNA, and CD19 in the natural progression of chronic HBB infection, further revealing a negative relationship between vitamin D and complement C3. A vaccine preventable serious liver infection of chronic hepatitis B. HBB is often a short term illness but, in some cases, can become a long term, chronic infection leading to serious health issues like liver disease or liver cancer. The risk for chronic infection varies based on age at infection and is greatest among young children. Suppressing virus replication and restoring host immune response are both significant in HBB therapy strategies, and recent research has mentioned to the potential role of vitamin D concentration in these processes. It is speculated that reduced hepatic vitamin D receptor expression diminishes the ability of vitamin D to support the immune defense system consequently weakening its effect on inhibiting viral replication. Osman Evliolu, of the Institute for Clinical Chemistry at the University of Heidelberg and colleagues wrote, However, this cycle can be disrupted by effective antiviral therapy, leading to improved vitamin D levels. Results showed the percentage of CD4 positive T lymphocytes and the CD4 positive, CD8 positive ratio significantly decreased. P less than 0.05 in patients with chronic HBV and HCV, but the percentage of CD8 positive increased. P less than 0.05 compared to the control group. Mostly seen in the HBV patients. Significantly lower serum vitamin D concentration compared to the control group and this decrease became significant over time p less than 0.001, but the decreased level of vitamin D in patients with HCV was not significant. Additionally, vitamin D showed a moderate negative influence on the CD8 cell count in patients with HBV. Research team noticed, based on their vitamin D status, categorized as sufficient as greater than or equal to 31 nanograms per milliliter, insufficient 21 to 30 nanograms per milliliter, deficient 11 to 20 nanograms per milliliter, and severely deficient 1 to 10 nanograms per milliliter, regardless of viral infection. However, the vitamin D deficient group showed significantly lower antibody production compared to the normal group and exhibited significantly decreased CD4 numbers and increased CD8 numbers P less than 0.05 and P less than 0.001, respectively, while the CD4, CD8 ratio was also significantly decreased in the insufficiency group P less than 0.001. Investigators noted this imbalance of helper T cells, CD4 positive T cells, and cytotoxic T cells, CD8 positive T cells, indicates immune system dysfunction. Point one.
Investigators noted complement C3 levels were not associated with CD4 and CD8 but had an inverse relation with vitamin D, suggesting the complement system does not exert a direct influence on cellular immune regulation. The association between vitamin D and the complement system shows the anti-inflammatory properties of vitamin D. Investigators observed a significant association between vitamin D levels and complement C3, CD8+, CD4+, CD19+ cells, and HBB DNA levels. Investigators outlined several potential limitations to these findings on data mining, inability to account for multiple conditions and certain parameters, and variability in the types of testing parameters in the study they noted. This study supports the theoretical basis of the relationship between vitamin D and the immune system in a big cohort and provides a novel reference for further studies, investigators concluded. If you like this video please like and share this video more and more. Please support our channel. Thanks for watching Great Wisdom Discover. We will meet you with new update in the next video. Thanks for watching Health Wisdom.